So hey guys, one of the questions I get a lot from you is, what's the top five hacks? What's the top three hacks you would do if you're trying to rank in Google? You know, the typical questions that I get all the time. And if it was me, what I would tell you is this. When I look at most of your sites, it's not a hack, it's not a silver bullet. You're missing the basics most of the time. When I say basics, I mean basic on-page structure, basic content. If you would actually handle the basics, just like anything in life, diet, exercise, relationship, you would see how much further that your rankings, that your SEO would go just by focusing on that. But the problem is, for the most part, most everybody's focused on, if you will, these hacks or silver bullets that a lot of these quote unquote SEO gurus are selling. Bam! If you're new to this channel, make sure to hit subscribe and turn on that bell notification. We talk about everything from local SEO to how to get your first client to business mindset, get that system right, and anything else that could possibly be important when it comes to running and scaling a business. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I say, let's do it. So, for example, let's go to the homepage of this website's Bruce Law Firm. I always want this menu to follow me everywhere I go. It is not a sticky menu. Why is that, William? Well, what happens is when someone scrolls your website, most people honestly are idiots. They'll be down here and they'll say, well, I want to contact you, but I don't see a phone number. And then what do they do? They bounce off your website, go to your competition. You just lost a specific potential client all because your menu bar with your phone number or call now was not following me. What? I really don't like the top part. It looks like it's just kind of thrown there, but if you like it, it's great. Um, I do, you know, you have your links right here, your, if you will, your H2s, hyperlink to their pages, that's great. You have plenty of content, you got internal linking. One thing I don't see on here is I don't see a call, I don't see call to actions. right you need to have call to action in other words i want content call to action content call to action content call to action another thing i don't see i don't see anywhere on here where you have your google business profile or your google my business listing nor the reviews embedded right let's see here let's look at your how you have your pages structured if you will all right, so you see right here where it just says services, family, law, divorce. There's nothing in that URL structure that tells me you're in Monroe. Let's go to another area. Let's go to bankruptcy lawyer. So for example, this is your H1, bankruptcy attorney in Monroe, Michigan. So your URL structure up here should be bankruptcy attorney in Monroe, Michigan. And the only thing I see is services forward slash bankruptcy. Your content on this page is good. I'd want to see that volume of content on every single one of your pages. This page is not going to cut it. You need more content. Same thing with your structure here. This is probate estate planning. It needs to say probate estate planning lawyer or attorney plus the city you're in. Let's look at some more pages here. Criminal defense. You know, criminal defense in Monroe. Michigan criminal lawyers. No, I don't want it to say Michigan. This website is about Monroe. All right, focus on Monroe. And don't put it at the beginning, put it at the end. Okay. Now, if you want specifically to go after all of Michigan, it's up to you. But I personally, your website's about Monroe. Now, why are you switching things up to be the entirety of Michigan? You know, you had it right on bankruptcy lawyer. You had it on right on probate. You know, then you switched it up underneath criminal. And then you were switched it up in our real estate. And business law, let's see. Oh, business law, you go back to Monroe. 
and you got Monroe here, but Michigan here. So you need to decide, do you want to serve all of Michigan or Monroe? Your choice. And then your URL structure needs a match on every page. Keyword plus city. Keyword plus city. Okay, let's look at your blog. Are the blogs long enough? Great, good amount of information. Let's see about how many keywords, if you will, or how many words per. So you got 1800, 1800, that's decent. I want around 1500 words per blog, and then I want them linking back out to the home page to the actual specific service and also to the service pages. Let's look under contact us and see if you got your, at least your Google My Business or Google Business Profile embedded here. You have two locations to serve you. Okay, but I see one location that's there. All right, great. Now let's go look over the Google Business Profile listing. Are you responding to the reviews? No. The other thing you need to do is give these thumbs ups. These are happy signals, if you will. You need to be responding to every single one of these reviews. Every single one of them, all right? Let's look over here. All right, you do have, if you will, a post. There's one post, one in October. You're nowhere near posting enough. You need to be posting five days a week and the post will be about the services that are listed under here, right? And then they'll hyperlink back and forth. They'll do what we call daisy chaining, okay? I want the image to be, let's say, a divorce. Then the header in that image will be Divorce Lawyer Monroe. Paragraph about divorce law. Then it says read more. It links back to my page on Divorce Lawyer. I also have in there when Google allows me. I also put in, if you will, my name, address, phone number, website, and see previous posts in there. Sometimes Google allows for it, sometimes they don't because that is a violation of Google's terms of services. Okay. I just try to do as much as I can. Um, let's see here. This tells me right here because I don't see any of your social information like let's say Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, etc. None of those icons are appearing in your knowledge graph here. So that tells me they're lacking from your schema. So you need to add those into your schema as well. Now let's go over to, if you will, your SEO audit report. See what we've got going on here. You have 1300 issues that need to be fixed. You have some 400 status codes and 500 status codes that need to be fixed. You have 13 broken links that need to be fixed. You have 87 broken images that need to be fixed. And then you have all this basic, if you will, meta data that needs to be fixed. No, God, please, no. I will be sending over this report as well so we can take a look at that and see um, exactly what we could do to help you. Now let's go back to, if you will, your website. And we're gonna run an internal page speed just to look at your Google Core Vitals, okay? But before doing that, let's look at your images. Your images on this page, you're missing alt titles, which help with your SEO. You know, you're missing your social graph. And let's look at your Google page speed. So your Google page speed, some people care for it, some don't, I do. Because I know, for example, because we deal with hundreds of clients, that this is an actual filter, okay? When Google sees your website's going slower, it will push faster sites ahead of yours, okay? So let's go back. So on your Google in Core Vitals, on your mobile, you fail it. It's only a 76. Oh my God! And then on your desktop, you pass it. That's great. So that means you're, it's be very easy to fix that part of it. <laughs> yeah, boy. So I hopefully this was some good information. I will be emailing this information over to you. If you would like my assistance, just let me know and respond back to the email. If any of you guys watching this would like a local SEO audit, make sure to comment below. Say, hey, Bill, me, 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 me. I want a local SEO audit. 
and I will contact you and you can have a free local SEO audit as well. My name is William. I appreciate it if you're new to this channel. Once again, make sure to hit subscribe, turn on the bell notification. Till next time, you guys be blessed. Have a great day. I have so many SEOs that hate me and say that I'm still in their methods. They bitching and cry, labeling me. SEO Black Hat was a nobody, now I'm at the top. Most wanted, most loved, bad business owners. And hated by most SEO opponents. You think you're an SEO guy, but you're